meeting. I think Dave Weissnick's with us, so we can probably okay. get the end of that, but get a lot of updates. So let's okay. go through the last little few things here, if you don't mind. Yeah. Motion to recess. So, so moved. Second. Okay. We are in recess right now, and we'll turn it over to Controller Metley. Yeah, I had sent out two items to be discussed today, but in the interest of time, the one will hold off and get more information for the next meeting. Um, the one concerning changes that are recommended by the actuary that could affect the annual required contribution for this year. Uh, I'll get more information on that for the next meeting. The only major item we have to deal with today is the request for the disability retirement for Pam Sunday, and the only reason we're doing it this way is the plan says that if we have the Social Security disability designation, it's automatic, but in this case, we didn't get that. We had two doctors, so this is sort of an exception to the rule. Um, not exactly an exception, just another procedure since it's two doctors and not has not got the SSI designation yet. We have to approve it as a board. And you are recommending we approve? Um, according to reading the doctor's notes, it says that it doesn't specifically say she's disabled, but it says she cannot, uh, unable to perform the essential duties of her job in both cases. So my recommendation would be to approve it. Okay, I'll make a motion yeah. to approve the recommended um, equivalent to the SSI, I guess it is. Is that a good way to word it? All right. Uh, I'll second that motion. <laughs> I believe we're approving the uh, recommendation to uh, uh, a disability status. Is that correct? Yeah, and to accept the doctor's uh, the, the doctor's, doctor's recommendations that she can no longer um, perform her job duties. Okay. Uh, before we vote, uh, Jeff, Robert, is this um, precedent setting, or have, I've not recalled doing this before. What's that, Bob, Commissioner? Is it precedent setting or have we done No, it? no, it's just this, if she would have had the SSI designation, we wouldn't have, it would have been, it would have been automatic. She hasn't gotten that yet. And she's, her last day is, her last day of medical leave is today. So we just need to do it this way so that it can be covered and she can apply for it. I, I did understand that, but I, I was just asking if this is the first time we've done this as a county or? Um, it's the first time I think since um, you and Bill were on the board, but we have done it a long time ago. Okay, that's all. I just wanted to double check. Yeah, we've done it before, but it's it's most cases the SSI designations with it, but I think this they haven't gotten that yet, so um, okay. she requested it earlier. Got she it. has applied for SSI, right? I'm thinking that is the case. Reading the doctor's notes, it just hasn't come through yet. Okay. Uh, if no further comment, uh, all in favor of the motion, May please. I, I do have a comment. I do have a question. Aye. Oh, I had a question. I'm sorry. Commissioner <laughs> Lizzie? Sure yes. My That's question. That's it for today. No, wait, wait uh, Joel has something. Bob. <laughs> I don't understand uh, just the way when Bob said the last part there. If she does not get the designation, would then this end? It, it, it will either way. It, the, the plan allows for two doctors designation or SSI and one doctor. But in this case, since we didn't have the SSI yet, I went this way. Okay. But the plan does allow it for two doctors recommendations to qualify. At what point will it terminate if she doesn't get the permanent SSI disability designation? There is no terminate. Once if she once she gets disability, she stays disability. Yeah, we're we're voting to make this a permanent uh Basically, she would she would leave employ as of tomorrow, which is when her uh, medical leave runs out, and she would retire at that point. Oh, she's retiring. Yeah, with okay. disability. The dis the disability is approved one of two ways, and and what I'm hearing, it will happen one way or the other. Correct. If it was with the, if, with, with the SSI designation, it's an automatic. But in this case, she hasn't gotten that yet. We, and her time ran out as of today. She did requested it this way. And the plan does allow it to have two doctors recommendations. I guess my question is, I, I don't have a problem facilitating her 
retirement provided that she does eventually get a permanent designation but what if it doesn't come through that's they're unrelated yes they are unrelated okay this sketchy. motion gives her a des that designation with our retirement fund correct oh just with our retirement fund Yes. Yeah, well, we don't have any effect on SSI payments. That's no. obviously no. So it's just it's just with the SSI designation, the plan. It's an automatic versus this with two doctors. We have to approve it separately for retirement. Okay. Uh, someone want to call the question? Ready to go? Yes. Let's go. Okay. All in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Post. So moved. Thank you. Okay. That's it. We'll have information on the annual required contribution recommendations for two weeks from now. And take your time. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>